Each and every organization needs its business processes to get automated in such a way that its processes do not stop. Now for such kind of scenarios, we need robotic process automation. Now to implement robotic process automation, there are no actual robots, but there are tools to implement RPA. And one such tool is Blue Prism. So hello folks, this is Sahiti on behalf of Edureka, and I welcome you to this session on RPA Blue Prism. So in this session, you will go through all the concepts of this tool Blue Prism to know how it provides to process automation, right? So let me just quickly cover all the topics for today's session. So we'll start today's session by understanding what exactly robotic process automation is and then I'll tell you what are the various tools that RPA offers. Out of all these tools, we're going to focus our session on Blue Prism. So I'm going to tell you what is Blue Prism and then I'll discuss the features of Blue Prism. Once you understand the features of Blue Prism, I'm going to tell you the different Blue Prism components and then I'm going to tell you the benefits of Blue Prism. So after you understand the basics of Blue Prism, I'm just going to end this session by telling you the case study of a company using Blue Prism and finally the major multinational companies using Blue Prism, right? So I hope that you know the agenda is clear to you guys. All right, so that's great. So now let me just quickly start by telling you what exactly RPA is. So RPA, as you know, stands for three terms, robotic, process, and automation. So let me just quickly start by explaining you each of these terms one by one. Robotic means the entities which mimic the human actions, and these are obviously called the robots. So any entities that mimic the human actions are called robots. The process is basically a sequence of steps which lead to a meaningful activity. So for example, you know, if you're making a tea or you're making yourself a coffee, you follow a sequence of steps, right? So the sequence of steps is nothing but a process and finally coming to automation automation is basically any process which is done by the robot without any human intervention. So it could be a small process or it could be a very large process for an enterprise. So any process which is done without the human intervention is said to be automated, right? So now if we summarize all these terms together, then mimicking human actions to perform a sequence of steps that lead to a meaningful activity without any human intervention is nothing but robotic process automation. So all these technologies basically reduce the manual workforce. So this basically gives time for the manual workforce to harness their talents in better ways, right? So instead of a person sitting at a data entry job, just entering the data, he could harness his talents in a better way so that, you know, he can benefit himself and also his enterprise, right? So when I say robotic process automation, let me tell you one thing over here. There are no actual robots actually performing the task for you, but instead RPA tools or you can say RPA vendors are, are present in the market with a set of libraries and runtime environment so that you know you can automate your business. So with the note of this, let me just quickly tell you the top RPA tools in the market. That is basically the RPA leaders in the market. So there are various number of tools in the market, but the leaders or you can say the top trending tools in the market are UiPath, Blue Prism and Automation Anywhere. So this could be because of various of features that they provide such as, you know, the licensing, the trial period or the ease of programming and so on. Okay. Now, apart from all these tools, that is basically the Blue Prism, UiPath and Automation Anywhere, there are also various number of tools that are available in the market, such as Pega, Nice, Jidoka, Korean Systems, WorkFusion, Antworks, and so on. So guys, these were just a few to name. There are n number of robotic process automation tools present in the market. But since our session is mainly focusing on Blue Prism, I'm going to tell you what exactly Blue Prism is next. So Blue Prism is basically an RPA tool, as you must have understood, which basically holds the capability of a virtual workforce powered by the software robots. Now I'll tell you what exactly I mean by that. This helps the enterprises to automate the business operations in an agile and a cost effective manner. This tool is mainly based on Java programming language and offers a visual designer with the drag and drop functionalities. So when you open this Blue Prism tool, you'll clearly see that, you know, you have a dashboard and where you have to just drag and drop functionalities. And this tool is completely based on Java programming language. So by that, I don't mean that, you know, you have to learn Java for this particular tool, but yes, it is built on Java programming language. So if you have any knowledge about Java, then that would be obviously beneficial for you to understand this tool and use this tool easily, right? Now, let me also tell you that, you know, this tool was formed in 2001 and it offers a top down approach. So since it uses Java, it uses inheritance, encapsulation, and it has various kinds of flow charts if when you see the dashboard, right? So now that I've told you what exactly Blue Prism is, let me just quickly take you through the features of Blue Prism. So 
as you can see on the screen so blue prism offers various number of features and the first on the list is secure and accurate so well there is no bound to the number of processes which need to be executed in this tool so you can basically execute any number of processes at a given instance of time and blue prism makes sure that you know it delivers secure and accurate results to any number of processes that you wish to automate so suppose if you want to automate 100 processes together then blue prism will make sure that you know you get secure and accurate results for all the 100 automated processes right now moving on to the next feature that is robust blue prism basically provides robust features like load balancing data encryption and end to end auditing so every change that occurs in the automation task is audited and is related back to the user related to it right so suppose you know there are 10 developers working on the same automation task and suppose the first developer you know makes some change so that change is audited and it is made sure that you know the change is informed to all the other nine developers right now after that the next feature we have is that blue prism is scalable and resilient so blue prism basically allows the scalability with the central management so all the processes can be automated as per the need and can be monitored centrally so suppose if you have 100 processes then you don't have to scale each and every process you can scale any number of processes based on your need so it may happen that you know you want to just scale the first 10 processes as you don't want to scale the next 90 processes you can very well do that and all these basically scaling of processes and every change is basically monitored in blue prism centrally so any change or any scalability or descalability is specifically monitored in blue prism right now not only this but blue prism also offers the 24 into 7 workforce so this tool is basically designed to work intelligently without the person physically monitoring every action occurring on the screen right so with this the manual workforce reduces at a lot extent since they don't have to sit and monitor what's happening on the screen it is built in such a way that you know it requires minimum amount of human intervention right now blue prism also offers analytics so when I say analytics, I mean that, you know, it provides extended features to configure dashboards so that the session information can be redirected to the monitoring system. So let's just consider a scenario, you know, you have 10 processes to be automated. Now what will happen is as and when the processes start getting automated, a dashboard will be built and all the changes and all the scaling or descaling or adding on features or removing features, all those would be put in a dashboard and that dashboard would be then redirected to the monitoring systems so that the monitor what is exactly happening with those 10 processes right so i hope this part is clear to you now moving on to the next feature that is data security and abstraction so as the tool is designed to work autonomously by which i mean it is designed to work intelligently 24 into 7 all the processes is performed and is stored in the data center so this provides a well defined data abstraction and process security so you just don't have to worry about your data security blue prism makes sure that you know the data is abstracted well and it is only given to those users who have the access to that particular data else it is not distributed among the complete task force right now moving on to the next feature that is basically that it provides cloud support so by which i mean that you know blue prism provides working capacity support as per the business requirement it's not necessary that you know you need the complete tool and then you need the complete storage for the cloud support it's completely based on the business to business requirement. So if it may happen that, you know, small enterprises would need a less amount of storage and large enterprises would need a large amount of storage, right? So with Blue Prison, what you simply have to do is you have to just create workers on demand and then manage them centrally so that, you know, your task is done and it provides the cloud support, right? Now moving on to the last feature that is the execution intelligence. The robots connect to the systems and react dynamically to the responses in the data on multiple environments. So when I say execution intelligence, I mean that, you know, the robots connect to the systems and react dynamically to the responses in the data on multiple environments. So it may happen that, you know, you can have multiple environments and you may have data running across multiple environments, right? So the robots connect to all these systems and then they react dynamically, right? So guys, these were the various features of Blue Prism. So basically Blue Prism is secure and accurate. It provides robust features. It also provides scalability and is resilient. It provides a 24 into 7 workforce and provides an analytics dashboard to monitor all the changes. It also provides data security and abstraction and provides cloud support. And finally, it is an execution intelligence, right? So I hope that, you know, all the features are clear to you guys. So now that you know so much about Blue Prism, let me just quickly cover the main components of Blue Prism. 
So, well, there are mainly four components of blue prism that you need to understand. That is the process diagram, the process studio, the object studio and the application modeler. Process diagrams are basically business workflows that act as software programs. Since Blue Prism is based on Java, these diagrams utilize the core programming concepts and create the operational process flows like flowcharts, right? So these diagrams are basically graphical representations of workflows to create, analyze, modify and scale the business capabilities. Moving on to the next component that is the Process Studio. Process Studio is the area in which the process diagrams are basically created. This component of Blue Prism offers various features such as the business logic, the object call, the control loops, variables and so on, right? Now each process created has a main page which executes first. So when you create a process, it basically has few number of pages based on how many pages that you create. But initially it has a main page and then it can have various number of pages. So when you execute the process, the main page executes first, right? Now after that moving on to the third component that is the object studio almost all the enterprises need to have a communication with the external applications to automate the task. Well since it cannot happen in the process studio itself blue prism has a component that is object studio. So object studio is the area where basically visual business objects are created and these objects are nothing but the diagrammatical programs interacting with the external applications which perform operation right. So one business object provides an interface with only one external application. Also, let me tell you that each object studio does not have a main page, but yes, it does have two default pages organized as a flat group, right? Now, finally, moving on to the last component that is the application modeler. Application modeler is basically the functionality to create application models with the object studio. So this basically exposes the UI elements of the target application to the Blue Prism program itself. Right. So I hope that you know the four components are clear to you. That is basically the process diagram, the process studio, the object studio and the application modeler. So process diagram is basically business workflows that are created and process studio is the place where the process diagrams are created. The object studio is the area where the visual business objects are created and the application modeler is the functionality to create application models. Now moving on to the next part of the session that is basically the benefits of Blue Prism. So let me just tell you the benefits one by one. Starting with the better service quality as Blue Prism offers end to end auditing which is performed by the digital workforce. This tool makes sure that you know it offers better service quality so that you know there's no intervention of human to audit all the changes and it is all done by the tool and there's minimum requirement of manual workforce right. Moving on to the second benefit that is high accuracy. So this tool performs tasks in such a way that you know the outcomes are produced with high accuracy and low errors. So even if you have around 100 processes getting automated, it gives the right results to all the 100 processes that are getting automated with low errors. Moving on to the next benefit that is basically scalability. So Blue Prism basically offers a scalable approach as this tool is not based on scripts or recorders, but it's based on intelligent digital workforce performing tasks. So the intelligent digital workforce basically know how to connect to various number of systems and also perform tasks and simultaneously monitor them, right? Now after that the next benefit that we have is quick deployment of services. So the services can be easily deployed as it can automate the applications control irrespective of their on screen position, right? Moving on to the next benefit that is the flexible workforce by which I mean that you know the digital workforce is designed in such a way that it does not need any rest. It's just ready to work 24 into 7 without taking a break. But yes, it also gives the same results with high accuracy, right? So isn't that fantastic and now moving on to the final benefit that is statistics. So as I told you in the analytics part, this tool offers various dashboards so that you can analyze the data and process session and then obviously monitor them, right? So the benefits of Blue Prism are really simple. It offers better service quality. It, it offers high accuracy. It's more scalable. It offers quick deployment of services and it provides flexible workforce and also provides good statistics measures, right? So now moving on to the next part of the session that is the case study of Blue Prism. So when I say case study of Blue Prism, I'm basically going to show you how a company benefited by using Blue Prism, right? So the company that I'm going to talk about is basically Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is one of the world's largest beverage company. This company has more than 500 brands in 200 countries with 1.9 billion products consumed by 200 million customers daily, right? 
So the company objectives were mainly to you know execute HR processes and strategies smoothly. They also wanted to perform HR operational processes with constant improvement and also resolve employee queries with good quality. Now to address these goals, the company needed a tool in such a way that you know it could automate this task. And so they started using Blue Prism to automate the processes within the finance division. So initially they started using Blue Prism in the finance division and after that they ventured to use Blue Prism for other divisions such as the HR. Now to use Blue Prism, the first step was to identify the relevant processes for automation. So basically the main criteria that they considered to identify the relevant processes for automation with the processes volume, the frequency of processes and the workforce required for the processes. So when all the criteria were considered together, a total amount of 150 processes were identified which had to get automated. So now you know what exactly the company objectives were. Let me just quickly tell you what were the problems faced by the company. So before Coca-Cola started using Blue Prism, the HR services team had to audit around eight different sets of data. So obviously when you have to audit around eight different sets of data, this obviously took time as the company were running reports, auditing them and then formatting them to analyze the exceptions. So when you have to audit around eight sets of data and then create reports manually or you know maybe it was automated, but yes you had to audit all the changes, this would take a lot of time as the company grows, right? So now the solution to this was obviously Blue Prism. So Coca-Cola started using Blue Prism's digital workforce to audit an SAP. So all the processes were divided into multiple SAP systems to save the time and drive focus on the resulting data. Now after all the reports were generated by these automated processes, these reports would come to the respective teams to handle the exceptions manually. It was simple as that. The company divided all the process into multiple SAP systems to generate reports and once the reports got generated these reports were passed on to individual teams to handle the exceptions manually. Also these reports could be tracked without the need of extra manual workforce to track them. So it was very simple for Coca-Cola to handle so much of exceptions and reports and data with the help of Blue Prism. Now let me just tell you quickly the business impact of using Blue Prism. So the company started delivering better operational efficiencies with the production capacity to be extended from 8 hours a day to 24 hours. So folks that's a big number when your production capacity is extended from you know 8 hours a day to 24 hours that's almost 3 times right. Now apart from this the other business impacts that were observed that you know there was no need of additional headcount so the manual workforce was reduced. So there was end to end auditing performed on each and every change that occurred and you know it also improved the customer experience with high human interaction, right? So instead of you know humans handling data every day and just performing data entry tasks, the manual workforce of Coca-Cola started harnessing the talents by improving the human interaction, right? So that's how folks Coca-Cola benefited by using Blue Prism. So now that I've told you an instance of one company, let me just quickly tell you the various other companies that use Blue Prism. So the various other companies that use Blue Prism to automate their operations are basically multinational companies like IBM, Accenture, Cognizant, Genpak, ENY and Deloitte, right? So this is not an end to the list guys. The list is very long, but yes, I've mentioned just a few for your understanding. So folks, that's an end to this particular session. I hope that you know you've understood what exactly Blue Prism is, what are its various features, the components, the benefits that it offers and how a company benefited by using Blue Prism. So I hope that you know you found this session informative. So thank you and have a great day.